Hey guys, so first of all, I just wanted to talk about something that is a huge problem with Final Cut Pro users. Um, it's that whenever they edit something, they make a new project, they put in their clips, blah blah blah, everything's fine, and then a couple of weeks later, um, I'll show you. This happens. Um, it's almost used up all the way. Look at this system documents and like all of these are just like apps and stuff, but it shouldn't be this full and I'm going to show you how to remove it, you know, because this happened to me. This has happened to me like five times or something and I went into my documents. I went into finder and I couldn't I couldn't see anything. I deleted everything. I couldn't even open Chrome at that time because it was 100% full. So it wouldn't even let me open my internet browser for me to find out how to fix it. And I had to like deliver my Mac into the Apple store and they had to fix it for me. And it was just awful. So I know a lot of you have this problem. I've been requested it a lot of times because everyone who is new to Final Cut Pro often gets this issue and they want to know how to fix it. But, you know, some people won't tell them and they have to find out themselves. And then they're like, is this safe? I don't know. Do I trust this? But I promise you what I'm going to show you is 100% Safe. So if you want to remove all of this, you have to download an app. It's called, I don't know how you pronounce it, Omni, Omni Disk Sweeper. You open it and you will see, um, you know, your disks and everything. So I have two. I have this one plugged into my Mac for extra space for movies and episodes and all that stuff. Uh, and then I have this one and it, you know, it's uh, programmed into my iMac. So I double click on that and you will see this popping up and currently it's just like loading everything and finding everything. So as you can see it says 288 uh, megabytes something. So basically how this happens is that when you make a Final Cut Pro project you add these files and they're not just there and then if you remove it they're gone because they're in the system they're they're using so much space and uh what your mac does is that it creates these secretive files that you can't access for it to look i don't know for it to look better or something so as you can see it is already starting to um load everything and here we go you can see how much i have in users and that is not normal <laughs> at all um so you just click this and then you go to owner i have uh, some of it in norwegian and you can see under movies there's a lot and like don't don't mess with all of these just don't i did that once and i can't open my photos anymore <laughs> And I have no idea how to fix it. So please, if you know how to fix that, if you like deleted a file that was really important to open another app, please let me know in the comments below because I can't access any of my photos. Anyways, let's uh, go to movies and see what we have here. All right. So as you can see, um, it says Final Cut Pro backups uh, and everything. And this folder um, is what, you know, where everything is <laughs> ignore this this is just a name i came up with so this is you know the the library name that you made uh first in final cut pro click on that and you can see the render files original media you know everything that you put into final cut pro is just it's, it's not gone even though you remove it it's still there and you can't access this from finder so i love this app so much so what you want to do is that you want to click, you want to delete this one, the library thing that you created and make sure, okay, make sure to, um, if you have really important projects that you're working on in Final Cut Pro, 
make sure to either finish them or render them and then keep um, editing them later. That's what I did. I created um, uh, I created a folder uh, called not finished and I just rendered what I had already made so I could uh, keep editing them later. But it's time for me to clean my Mac now. So I went through everything and I have everything under control currently. So here are basically all the projects that you've made and by deleting this you're deleting all your projects if you're not exactly sure what i'm talking about um make sure that you do know what i'm talking about before you delete this file so this is the library file and you are only going to be deleting this one so make sure that you have all your projects um stored somewhere else in, rather than in Final Cut Pro because we will have to create a new library. So we're going to delete this. We click on it just so that it's highlighted. All of these will obviously be deleted because they're underneath this one. We will go to delete and click that one. And then it says destroy the selected files. You aren't getting them back so make sure you really want them gone. And then it says destroy. <laughs> So yeah, it's really dramatic because it is really dramatic. If you delete the wrong file, you are probably never going to be able to get it back. So all we are going to do right now is that we're going to hit destroy. And it is currently trashing it. As you can see, this is trashing. And yeah, that's uh, basically it. Uh, and it is um, moving everything and it will disappear soon. And it is gone. And so if you close this, and you close this, you go to About This Mac, Storage, and ta-da, you have so much free space. I have over 800 gigabyte currently. And that's how you do it. When you open your Final Cut Pro, you will see this. Wow, this is crazy. This is exactly how I had it when I first started out. So maybe you're completely confused and oh my god what do I do now <laughs> because that's exactly what happened to me the first time I did it and I freaked out because first of all I didn't know that I deleted everything like all my projects so they were gone and I had to make them uh, all over again I've just I had to start all over again um but basically what you want to do um uh, you want to go to import media and you want to click on create new event and then you basically name the event which is going to be the library basically so i'm going to name it uh edit all right uh desktop uh go to the picture of the duck and import selected what okay wait oh yeah i'm gonna name it rcp edit import selected Okay, great. We have footage now, which means we can start a new project. I don't know why it's like that, but that's just how it is. Okay, so we're going to name our project Shakes. Okay. And here we go. And we have footage of a duck. That's all we have. And we have one project. 